And finally, we have the ABC Home and Commercial Services Large Business Award, which will be presented by another good friend of mine, Sandy Dochen, on behalf of last year's recipient in the large business category, IBM. Please join me in welcoming Sandy to the podium. Hello, Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's great to be here. I will tell you that uh, my company, IBM, in winning this award last year was an, a wonderful accomplishment. It only took us three times, uh, which shows you the, the, the friendly competition out there. But I got to tell you that it, it, has, it has maintained its nice glow. When you do something right and something good, it makes you feel good too. And I just think that looking up even more to my colleagues at IBM and others who we associate with, it's just been a, something a little to spark in the air this year because of that. And it's been something I'm very proud of and, and proud of my colleagues in the company. So. A lot of good sparks in the room. There's someone else who's, who's a good sparkler. I'm going to take a little moment of personal privilege. The videos, the photos, the organization, so much of this event is done by a fellow who is over there taking pictures right now, Joel Kaufman. And I think we need to recognize Joel a little bit for everything he does. He even writes great scripts. He makes you sound even better than you deserve. So now you have the secret is out. Well, Earl and, and everyone else, all businesses want to build trust among their customers and partners. But you know what? The larger a business is, sometimes that uh, trust is even more difficult to achieve. And sometimes the larger a company, the more attention you get. Sometimes you like that attention. Other times you'd rather not have it. So there are a lot of people watching you. Wall Street, Main Street, and everyone, uh, any, anyone in between. <clears throat> This year's finalists in the large business category have all built upon that elusive trust over time, which is in itself a very rewarding accomplishment. So in brief, one of this year's finalists for the ABC Home and Commercial Services Large Business Award is almost 25 years old, having grown into one of the largest independent oil field services in this region. You don't associate this region with oil, but this, these folks know how to do that. Another finalist is a global manufacturer applying science in collaborative ways to improve our lives, racking up more than $30 billion in sales last year, a lot more than just post-it notes, but they sure know how to invent those as well. And yet another finalist is the world leader in secure connectivity solutions for embedded applications with over 45,000 employees in more than 35 countries, chips, chip design and manufacturing. So let's find out just a little bit more about each one. We've got uh, operations in 70 countries, you know, whether it be sales or administration, R&D, just distribution, and we sell in the 200 countries. We've got 90, uh, coming up on 90,000 employees. And if ethical behavior isn't exhibited in the trenches every day, one-on-one uh, -on -one with the customer, we're not going anywhere. I think um, the ethics at NXP are demonstrated at all levels pretty consistently across the board. And what that does is it creates an environment of trust and um, respect that then gives you a safe environment to be a part of. So every interaction that you have, whether that's external with customers or internal with other employees, knowing that you're in a safe environment and everyone cares about doing the right thing enables that to be successful. It's pretty straightforward and, and the right thing to do is usually the easiest thing to do. And everything we try to do, once we get the right people in the door, right, once they understand what our, what our doctrine is and what our culture is, we want them to understand that everything they do should be guided by a fairness principle. And also in our industry, as in most industries, reputation is everything. Uh, for us, it's sacrosanct. The energy business, most people say that we're only two degrees away from knowing anyone in the industry. All wonderful companies and great individuals at those companies. But now I get to tell you the winner, and I love the way it rolls. And now the winner is, that emphasis, the winner is 3M. 
It can be as hard as you make it. Um, you can have reams and reams of uh, guidelines and rules and regulations on the shelf, but it's really simple if you boil it down to the individual and the individual's performance within the organization. People have to have it within their heart that they're going to do the right thing when they come in the door every day. And we're backed up by all those rules and, and our codes of behavior and things of that nature. But really, it's the, it's the employee that comes in the door in the morning that has the, the heart to do things the right way. We've got uh, operations in 70 countries, you know, whether it be sales or administration, R&D, just distribution and we sell in 200 countries, coming up on 90,000 employees. So there's no way that you can hold your finger over every employee every day and say this is the right way to do things. They've got to understand the right way to do things. It's not an easy task, but it's certainly worthwhile and it's, it's something that we invest time and resources in every day. The goal at the bottom always says, and do it the right way, we're gonna do it ethically. There's always a, a, a footnote at the bottom that all this wonderful uh, the results that we're going to have, we're going to do it by doing it the right way. I think the most impressive way to look at it from an organizational perspective is through our sales organization because they are everywhere every day and on their own and if ethical behavior isn't exhibited in the trenches every day one-on-one uh, -on -one with the customer, we're not going anywhere. I've been here for about 32 years and the ethics of this company are such that I've never had to hold my head down and say, well, I work for 3M. I'm always proud when people say, where do you work? I can say 3M company. And I love that it starts out with something as simple as be good. Be good. We're not trying to make this difficult for our employees. Be good. Thank you. I hope there's a script for me in here because I, <laughs> I did some this, I did some notes just in case just now as we were eating. Wow, what an honor to get this from Sandy Dutchman. Thank you, Sandy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Kirby Gleason and team from Concordia, thank you for your diligence. And I see what you mean by the blinding, Earl. You can't see a thing from here. <laughs> I hope you're all still here. Uh, <laughs> Kirby and team, you, you worked with us so diligently and were so patient because it was not easy to corral the right folks at the right time to make it work for you guys. Uh, Earl, it's for your leadership in this event and always in our community. And to con uh, the Samaritan Center, the great work that you do is legendary and so necessary at the same time. And Sandy, you recognize Joel, but I'll do the same thing because he took me by the hand and led me through this process and helped me to understand uh, the nuances of the interviews and the, the uh, robust process that's involved in selecting the winners. Um, and then especially to the folks behind me, my 3M colleagues, they come in every shape and size, as you can see. <laughs> John Landy is our general counsel. The, to be really sure you're doing being ethical, take your general counsel with you everywhere. <laughs> but uh, thank you. For those of you that I work with daily and weekly and monthly and annually in the community, um, you are the true champions of making our community better. We're just doing our little part by trying to do it the right way every day. So thank you so much for this honor and uh, look forward to seeing you. Um, in our in our community on the streets as we go forward thank you so much